Hey, 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 good morning, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 22nd, 2019. Well, doggone it. Yesterday, we get the FOMC minutes, provide zero clarity. It turned out to be an absolute non-event, and the market just continued to chop yesterday uh, this morning in this in the blog i described the price action that we've been been seeing lately as pop and chop where we get that morning excitement whether we're bullish or bearish we pop in one direction we gap open or down and then we go literally nowhere for the rest of the day just kind of chopping around very frustrating price action but technically, it's not hurting the market at all. It's just really, really boring. And it's one of those things that can kind of trap us as traders into uh, the boredom. Uh, sometimes we'll often get us to do things that we shouldn't be doing, uh, talk us into trades that we shouldn't be getting into. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we've got going on here. First off, we've got this little bouncing around going on in here in uh, the price action of the market. Nothing really exciting happening here overall. Now this morning we have been showing a modest decline almost all morning because of a bond yield inversion. But as earnings come out, we're starting to see a little bit of bullishness coming into the market, a little bit of push to the upside as those earnings roll out. So I wrote in the blog actually that uh, modest declines were what we were looking at um, at the open um, currently, but you know, earnings have certainly changed that as they continue to roll out. And we're seeing a pretty interesting morning because we're actually shaking off a bond yield inversion um, where uh, we do have a, a bit of a bond yield inversion going on in the two and 10 year again, and the market is just shrugging it off. That's so like, it doesn't matter now. It mattered big time over here, but now it's ho-hum, you know, who cares? We want to just stay in this chop zone. So we'll have to watch this pretty closely. Now, technically speaking, we are still in a downtrend in this market, and we're going to have to respect that so far we have price resistance in these charts that's relatively significant plus we have our moving averages which are just above providing that resistance to the upside right in here so we've got work to do in these charts before we really start to uh, find that motivation to move higher can we move on up with a bond yield inversion right now eh, maybe it all comes down to the confidence of the market, whether or not they're going to get the rate cut that they want. Um, and we're still waiting for clarity on that. Right now, I think the, the important thing to make note of is even though this has been very tedious market, very difficult to trade, uh, let's make note that, you know, as a correction goes, this has not been bad, uh, considering the fact that we're only 5% below all-time record highs um, in the Dow. So less than 5% below. So, um, as corrections go, this has been pretty mild so far at this point. Let's see what happens from here. And it's really anyone's guess right now, still in that downtrend. And we have to recognize that fact. Let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same situation here just all this hopping and popping around now this morning we're getting this pop-up now where we were looking at a little bit of a bearish open due to the inversion getting this little bit of a pop out trying to show some strength here this morning trying to gain some energy and um that's going to be kind of interesting considering um that bond yield inversion unless that's changed here in the last few minutes um so pushing up here toward those resistance levels in price action as well as resistance levels in the moving averages. So if those bulls can really get inspired and push on through, that would be really interesting um, um, ahead of any rate decisions. Um, if they, if we finally, uh, if the, not finally, but if the bears um, take over from here anywhere and start pushing us back down. We we'll want to watch these price levels down in here. We don't want to fill this down in this area. That could be a real problem for us overall. Let's take a look at the cues. The cues very, very similar here. And actually, 
um, has been the strongest of the indexes, placing a higher low here in the market, not retesting that low. So we have this modest uptrend going on here in this downtrend, which puts us in a wedge pattern. And you can see this morning now uh, suddenly we're getting that inspiration to pop up here and test right around that 50-day moving average again here. And those futures are continuing to grow at the moment, showing some strength um, in this market. There seems to be, it's kind of interesting to me uh, that uh, we're holding up so strongly considering uh, some of the issues going on in the market. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM still a very sad state of affairs here for IWM, still in a, a major decline going on. But the good news is it did hold this key support level here in price. Rallying back up in this morning right now, showing a little bit of lift here, trying to move back higher, but still challenged by its moving averages. And this convergence of moving averages, that is pretty substantial. So... Uh, keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX, I'm going to go to this chart and clean that up just a little bit. That VIX saw a nice decline yesterday, coming back down in here, testing this level of support. So, so far, we're not seeing that fear spiking back up at all in the market. No one seems to care, um, you know, about what's going on. I think there must just be a just a massive confidence that the FOMC is going to act and and do something here um, uh, for the market and that's kind of helping us stay bullish even with um, a yield cur curve inversion starting to occur. But right in this area right here we have this level of support and if we find support here, if we bounce back up and catch some fear in here, that would be a little bit of a technical problem. Um, um, but also remember, we could slip all the way down in here to test this downtrend line before we start to bounce. So very little fear here in the market. We seem to be holding up quite well overall. Let's take a look at uh, T21. 22, which is a four-week new high, new low ratio. T2122 is not an indicator that um, really tries, it doesn't predict anything. It just tells us when we're in an oversold or overbought condition. And right now, it's not telling us, well, much of anything, um, except um, really showing us the chop that we're seeing in the market. So if we take a look here, Yesterday, we got this nice little uh, push back up as the bulls tried to hold on here on the day. And what that tells us is we have uh, room for upside move. We could still move all the way up in here before we reach that bearish reversal area. And it also tells us that we have that significant open area to the downside if those bears take over. Right now, that doesn't seem to be the case. The, the futures are continuing to grow as I speak um, on these earnings results. And we're getting stronger and stronger as the morning goes on. So pretty interesting um, how things have shifted here just really quickly uh, this morning. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar yeah, may have something to say about what happens today, but it's unlikely to be majorly effective. Um, we have jobless claims here. Um, going on and that comes out at 8 30 a.m. That's expected to stay relatively flat. I, I mean um, our jobs jobless claims aren't really increasing and as a matter of fact I think the consensus is to show maybe a little decrease um, on this reading. So um, no problems there um, economically at least at the moment and if we look out here through the rest of the day the EIA, EIA natural gas report unlikely to move the market and just a whole bunch of bond announcements bond auctions and uh, up until the Fed balance sheet at 430 um, don't expect anything in this economic calendar after that jobs number to or jobless number to move us around so not much going on there on the earnings calendar we had about 50 companies reporting earnings those earnings are coming in um, seeing some some moves this morning in uh, dks dick sporting goods reporting this morning looks like they reported extremely well gapping up strongly here this morning that's probably helping 
um, helping the market considerably um, this morning was such a big result at, at, in Dick's Sporting Goods. So big pop here this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified when I post these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. The purpose of these videos is to help you prepare for your day today, how you want to approach the market for today. Um, I got to tell you, I still think that there's a really good possibility um, we could see an awful lot of chop. Now that is changing right now this morning with these futures pushing up, but I still think CHOP is probably going to be uh, uh, the the predominant move of the day. A lot of just sideways back and forth, up and down um, after the morning gap. We've seen that lately and um, we're looking for some clarity and hopefully perhaps we'll get some clarity when um, Jerome Powell speaks Friday morning uh, from Jackson Hole. Um, if we don't get any clarity there, we could see this this consolidating choppy yucky market uh, continue for a while. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Um, so when you're thinking about the preparation for the day, think about all the different details that could affect the market for today. The things that are really weighing on the market, the things that are pressing on the market's mind, the things that the markets are worried about, the things the market are hopeful about. Um, think about all of those things and then take a really close look at the technicals. What do those technicals mean? Um, and in the technicals right now, we're just showing a lot of uncertainty. So kind of keep that in mind as you prepare for your day. And that's the purpose of these videos. So watch that pretty closely today. Watch that price action because anything is really possible um, with that idea of uh, yield inversion and, and the confusion that's going on in the market. If you find these helpful, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button and also leave a comment. That helps me out a ton uh, with the algorithm showing the video to more uh, more folks. Thank you so much. You guys are the reason this channel is growing and I truly, truly appreciate that. So let's take a look at some stocks that are looking really, really good. You know, yesterday I mentioned Tyson as a potential trade and a potential trade idea, I should say. Um, remember, none of the none of the charts that I show you in this video um, or in these videos are meant as a recommendation to buy or sell just to be looking at the setups the uh, um, how those setups uh, perform and um, you can see Tyson performed really really well yesterday pushing on through moving on up looking really really good in its strength um, yesterday um, so hopefully um, um, you were able to uh, maybe take advantage of that or um, have been paying attention to this as a learning exercise but beautiful chart set up that worked out really, really well um, yesterday. Take a look at Mitch today, MTCH. MTCH trying to set up that same type of pattern. It may have a little bit more resting consolidation than it needs to move over here to trend, but MTCH trying to show those bullish signs, and I have an alert on this chart that popped yesterday, trying to move on up, trying to show some strength, uh, something we might want to keep an eye on. Take a look at STZ. Now, Constellation Brands is another one of those um, uh, consumer defensive stocks, and they've been doing really well in this market sell-off, gaining strength. Now, yesterday, um, STZ broke through some resistance up here. Now, I fully expect a little bit of rest consolidation or pullback in this chart, but I'd want to be watching that pretty closely, depending on how this moves sideways or pulls back, um, watching for that next potential entry into this trade. STZ holding up quite well considering the overall market condition. If we take a look at CMG, CMG holding up really, really strong here. Moving on through, um, showing good energy um, overall considering the weakness in the market. CMG has been holding up very, very well and looking good and a chart that you might want to put on your list and keep an eye on. Um, Let's take a look at um, uh, BSX. BSX I've been watching for some time now. Continues to disappoint me 
um, over and over and over, tries to break out, just can't seem to get it done in this market. I'm still watching this. At this point, I need to see this breakthrough here before I'm going to have much confidence in it. But if BSX can pop out of there, um, we have a good opportunity for a possible trade. How about WDC? WDC, really, really nice little pattern here where we've broken through price resistance in this chart. And now we're doing this nice little light pullback resting consolidation. Now, this trend over here is a little bit sketchy. I don't know for sure uh, where that is. I'm just using uh, the bottoms of these uh, tails here on these candles to kind of pick that out. But if this continues to do this nice sideways little resting chop, what we want to be doing is watching for that next pop, that next entry into that trade could, that could send WDC higher. So uh, watch that pretty closely. Short trades out there, there are quite a few that could be setting up for those short trades. Take a look at uh, stock like Facebook. Facebook failing here it's, it's at its 50-day moving average, not showing a whole lot of confidence over the last couple of days, although it may be trying to move just a little teeny tiny higher this morning. Facebook still not looking good, showing some uh, pressure on that chart. Tesla um, is another one showing that failure at the 50-day moving average that kind of an evening star type pattern failure under that 50 day. Notice our shorter term averages crossing down through uh, its 50 day, um, adding that zone of resistance up there. So keep an eye on uh, Tesla if you're looking for a short. Other shorts out there, uh, there are quite a few to be looking, uh, looking at. There's a lot of those little failure patterns um, at price resistance. Um, you'll want to be watching and looking for just a couple more trades that are looking pretty good. You might want to keep an eye on for longs. Uh, Procter and Gamble holding up very, very well, holding up strong. You know, PNG is another one of those consumer defensives looking strong. And last but not least here this morning, how about Kroger? Now Kroger is coming off of a low. This is a completely different pattern. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. It's where the stock breaks uh, back above its 50 day. It's been oversold for a long time. Breaks back above its 50 day, holds it as support and starts moving up. Um, Kroger being a defensive sector stock holding up quite well. I think Kroger right now needs a little bit of a rest or pullback. I wouldn't want to chase it right here. But a little rest, a little consolidation, maybe a little pullback, and then that opportunity to maybe move up toward that 200-day moving average. So keep an eye on Kroger. So just a few stocks for your list today. Hopefully um, you find something um, in here that you can pay attention to. Hopefully you can learn something uh, from these videos. If you've been struggling uh, with the price action of charts, how these price action um, uh, develop uh, so that you can pick out these great opportunities in charts when they break and move higher. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And remember, please click that subscribe button. Make sure and leave a comment if you feel the video is worthy. And I want to say to everyone that's struggling right now, this is a very frustrating market. You're not alone. We've had very challenging price action. Don't give up on it. As a matter of fact, it's okay. It's perfectly fine to just stand aside and wait for the market to settle down. Wait for the market to provide you that edge. So keep that in mind. You don't have to trade every day to be successful. I know there's a lot of pain and suffering out there right um, in the market. I can tell you me for one, I've been doing a lot of credit spread trading, not doing a whole lot of directional trading, staying out of the mix here, out of that, that craziness. So if there's anything that we can ever do to help you, um, please feel free to leave a comment on that subject. I know it is very challenging. So, you know, what's challenging you? If, if, if there's something out there that you're frustrated with, go ahead and, you know, vent it in, um, in the, um, comments section I, because I certainly understand. Or if you find something that's really helping you improve your trading, improve or, or um, protect yourself in a crazy market like this, share that as well with other traders. I appreciate everyone here um, a ton. Thank you for all that you do. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.